you guys said you wanted me to take this further, so we're going to take it further today. Hey, what's happening, guys? A video about a week or so ago. Just playing around with these uh, Grove sensor kits from Seed Studio that allow you to quickly prototype in Arduino project because they have these little plugins. So we just put together this little DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor there. You can see it just reads temperature and humidity. So we're going to take it a little bit further. and add in a relay that could, you know, turn on a fan or a heater or a cooler or something along those lines. And of course we need to be able to control that. Well, that's where things get a little bit interesting. Because in my little Grove kit, I don't really have any way to control anything. So, I thought, how can we control the temperature? Well, we could do a potentiometer. We could do a rotary encoder. Or we could just use buttons. One for up, one for down. Again, I don't have anything in my Grove kit along those lines. So, I just whipped together a little board that has two buttons one for cooler, one for warmer. It's got a couple of 10K resistors to pull them up. When you press the button, it grounds it out. We can plug them into a couple ports on here or a couple pins on here and uh, make it work. All right, let me uh, show you the code that I put together just to read the buttons. And then we'll implement that code into our code for the... Uh, sensor and display board. All right, so here's a little bit of code I wrote. I mean, you can see how easy it is. We got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 lines of code. So the first thing we're going to do is just, de excuse me, just declare a variable. I've called it my var, and a starting point, which in this case I made 50. Then we're going to set our two pins, 6 and 7, as input serial com so we can see what's going on and then we're going to begin our loop by simply printing out to the serial port the value of that variable then we will read our buttons and we'll make a decision on what to happen so if digital 6 is grounded then my var increases and if digital 7 is grounded my var decreases, we wait a half second, and we check again. The reason we're waiting a half second is basically just to debounce it. So everything's plugged in. Here's our serial monitor. There's our 50, which is our beginning value. And I will click the down button. 49. Click it again. 48. And again, 47, 46. Now we click the up button, 47, 48, 49, 50, and we're back to where we started. Pretty simple. Now we need to take that and put it here into this code, and I won't make you watch me do that. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, I have the tire, the end tire system set up and ready to run. You see I made some changes to the screen so we could fit everything in. We have our temperature reading, then we have our set point, humidity, and whether the system is on or off. As you can see now, it's off. I set this for a heating mode. So if this, if our set point is less than our temperature, it will turn on. Then I have attached our pull-up button board, pins 6 and 7. And then we have our relay here, and it is attached to a digital 3. So right now the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. 
trying to get this all on the screen. It's not very easy. Uh, set point is 24. Let's drop it down to 22. And you can see our relay has clicked on. And then if we bring it back up, our relay has clicked off. So a super simple system for controlling something based on temperature. You could easily change it to the humidity variable and control it via humidity. Arduino. It's a beautiful thing. All right. At the end of this video, I'm going to post... Uh, the code if you don't want to watch it you don't have to but you can if you want all right thanks for watching this i hope this helped if it did please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you for watching big thanks to you for staying at home wash your hands and don't touch your face that's it i'm out peace all right, here's a quick rundown of the code, and of course I'm going to put this in Pastebin so you can download it there if you want. So we have our includes here, DHT in the RGB library, then we set up our DHT pin through all this gula hickey here. Start the LCD, and then we create our breakpoint variable. In this case, it's uh, 24 degrees. Change it as you see fit. Then in our setup, we start our, our DHT sensor, we start our LCD screen, and we set up our two buttons and the relay. We always have serial for our uh, debugging. You can take it out. If you don't need it, save yourself maybe a bite. Then we're going to turn our relay off to begin and wait two seconds. We begin the main loop of the program where the first thing we're going to do is read the temperature and the humidity. And then we're going to print some stuff to the screen. The temperature, the set point, here, the temperature, the set point, and the humidity. Then we're going to evaluate. If the temperature is greater than my variable, then we turn it on. We print on to the screen and we turn on the relay by setting pin 3 high. If it is less, we turn the system off. We print off on the screen, we turn the pin off, and then we're going to wait a half second. And then down here is where we're going to evaluate our buttons. We're going to read both buttons, and if pin 6 is grounded, then our variable decreases. If pin 7 is grounded, our variable increases. Really, that's all there is to it. Ain't nothing else. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.